The XM310K is a modulated backlight, 3000 nit capable HDR monitor. The XM310K's dynamic backlight operating modes require calibration of both the panel and the backlight. We have developed a closed loop calibration process to accomplish this task. The optimal probe to use for this process is the Colorimetry Research CR100. To start, the monitor should be allowed to warm up for a short period of time prior to calibration. 30 minutes is sufficient and we suggest warming up with an L32 or 10% patch size window at SDR levels or approximately 100 nits. We'll configure the XM310K in this way now as a starting point. From the monitor's color menu, I'll make sure I'm in the Gaia Color color system. I'll set the gamut selection to BT709. And I'm going to set my EOTF to gamma 2.4. Next, I'll verify luminance mode is set to dynamic. And this will give us approximately a 100 nit SDR output when displaying white. We will allow the monitor to warm up for a bit at this level with a 10% patch window, and then we will start our calibration. While we are allowing the monitor to warm up, we'll verify that we have an XM310K specific matrix saved to our CR100. If you do not have an XM310K specific matrix, you can create one with a suitable spectroradiometer using the CRI utility, or you can send your CR100 to FSI for creation of an XM310K matrix. It is important that the matrix is specifically named XM310K, as this is what the monitor will use during the AutoCal process. While we have the CRI utility open, we will also verify that the exposure multiplier is set to the default setting of 1 as a higher value can cause problems with the closed loop calibration process. Once we have verified our probe settings, it is a good practice to go ahead and plug the probe into the monitor so the probe can warm up as well. When we are ready to begin our calibration, we will go to the color menu and scroll down to factory AWB. We will select on, then confirm we want to start the display alignment. Next, we will select the CRI CR100 from the meter list. A crosshair will then be displayed on screen to use as a guide for positioning our meter. We want to be sure to center our meter on this crosshair for optimal calibration results. Then we will press enter and the auto calibration process will run. When complete, we can press menu to clear the dialog and finally power cycle the monitor for the new calibration data to become active. This AutoCal process calibrates all of the available selections within the Gaia Color color system, both for static backlight and dynamic backlight operating modes. This process also calibrates the baseline D65 white balance and EOTF, but not gamut, of the dynamic luminance mode for all other color systems. In other words, end user 3D LUT based calibration is also fully supported, and this closed loop AutoCal process will serve as the pre cal operation for those systems. If you have any additional questions about calibration, please reach out to our support department at support at flanderscientific.com.